Hello, this is a video of our team CONCACAFES hexagon bench. One day, there was an entrepreneur called Bob. He has already decided that he is going to start up a new business, but he has not decided what types of business he is going to make. So to make sure it, he did some research on each market to see which one fits the best. There are two main ways of researching, which are primary and secondary research. Primary research is collecting data which has not collected before. Secondary research is collecting data which has already collected by someone. Bob decided to use both primary and secondary research and spend long time to collect more accurate data. However, he decided to mainly focus on gathering primary researches since it is more efficient, up, up to date, and it also helped him to gather both qualitative and quantitative data in order to find his market. Firstly, he used primary research, which are observation, interview, and questionnaire to find out what products will have the highest profitability. So observation is a way of collecting data by watching. Interview is a way where on one meets face to face and ask question and questionnaire is like a survey where the firm asks people question and get answer. Online is also used for this questionnaire. After he did primary research, he started his secondary research to collect more accurate data. The methods that Bob used are internet, internet books, and other ex exhausted sources of inf information he could find about the market. He has finished collecting all the data that he needed. However, there were too many data, so he divided or data into quantitative, qualitative, and and put this into in diagrams, graph, charts to present all the data. And then Bob found a fact that there is enough demand of toy toy for children, so he decided to enter toy marketing. However, he wondered if the toy shop should be mass marketing or niche marketing. Mass marketing is a firm which are, which are selling products that anyone can buy, such as Coke. Niche marketing is a firm which are selling products that will not be sold to everyone, such as Starbucks in Hanoi. If he uses mass marketing, he will be able to reduce the cost by economy, economy of scale, but the product might be not suitable for sales. If he use niche marketing, since product, products are expensive, customers may not purchase the product, but, farm, farm, the, but the farm will have higher brand image. According to these facts, Bob decided to be a mass marketing company because the products will be toy and the target market is going to be child, so it, it shouldn't be too expensive. The another reason is because the average income of Vietnamese is not that high. So if the price is expensive, it will be hard for some customers to buy the product. product. This, is, this is why he chose to be a mass marketing company. As the products that his company is selling are toys, we can segment market by gender and age. To satisfy customer needs is really important thing, but in order to do it, the firm has to identify the needs. By identifying the customer needs, relationship between the firm and the customers will get close which will make good customer loyalty. In order to satisfy customer needs by products, the product should be developed based on the researching that he did. After that, his company made prototype and asked potential customers to use it and review for it for it and his company found a problem which is packaging. Because the people who use the product said that the products are really good for children, but the product and the products that I ex expected from the packaging were different. So the firm decided to develop the packaging and make it as a unique selling point of his company. By this new packaging, the brand image of his farm got better too. So another unique selling point of his farm is the pricing strategy. Bob's company is using penetration pricing and competitive pricing as their pr pricing strategy. They use the pricing strategies 
along the situation so price of the product can be matched the customer's expectation, which is his firm's unique selling point. Because of the products are in introduction of product life cycle, so the sales will be low. But since all children like toys, there is enough supply in the toy market, so Bob thought that the product would make big amount of sales. Part of marketing mix, which which a product and price are already decided. So next things that he chose was place, a place. There are many different ways of channels of dis distribution, and the one that he, the one that his firm chose to use is e-commerce, which is selling products through internet to customers. The reason why he chose e-commerce is because social media such as Facebook, Instagram, and Google Plus are the are the methods that most people use to collect information. So if the pro so if the products are only sold on internet, it will be easier to promote the products on internet. The main advertisement that the firm use, used, used is passive advertisement, which is telling potential customers that this product is better than other competitors. This advertisement is going to be put on internet, so it, it has good cost effective. This promotion style is one of his company's strengths, which is one method of SWOT. SWOT is constructed by strengths, weakness, opportunity, and treats. By, by, selling, by selling through the product, Bob noticed that the valuation of toys are weakness of the firm. If the firm is selling only one type of toy, it should have the best quality, but, but then the firm Farm would be a niche market company, so he decided to have more variation of products. The treat of his company is competitors, which are selling products on internet, and the opportunity is popular popularization of social media. According to these facts, the farm developed the internal and external problem. Thank you for listening.